All right, almost there. Hmm. Sound suppression didn't uh, didn't clear that sound. Oh, I should have gotten some water. Oh. <laughs> we'll put the box down there for now and just worry about this <laughs> greetings everyone i am resplendent seraph and tonight we are going to resume our play of east 3 the pc version the oath of felgana and for anybody who showed up for the last stream who boy did uh did we ever experience some uh some struggle <laughs> last time i uh ended up going back through it and i'm i'm doing the math and i'm like that math can't be right right because assuming seraph did his math right i died over a hundred times last session which seems just crazy but i also didn't realize how long i was playing some of those bosses one of the so one of the pros of this game is it's fun even when you're kind of struggling. Uh, and it wasn't until like after I was doing my like, post-mortem of it uh, yesterday, I'm just like, wow, I spent that much time on Chester? Because uh, it really didn't feel like that. It, it is a fun game, but um, it definitely does not hold your hand. And now, hopefully, I am uh, equipped with a slightly better controller. Uh, <laughs> because as we found out, uh, my controller was, in fact, dying. So I suspect that played a role. Uh, I think there were a number of roles. Number one, I was just also really tired uh, Sunday night, and I, I wish I had realized how exhausted I was. Uh, that would have, that would have, I'm sure that played a role. And I also think struggling with the first boss as much as I did set me up for not the greatest mindset to play Chester later on. So we'll get to the whole recap as we get onto things, but. The takeaway from this is that games are fun, even when they aren't necessarily always going our way. But also, uh, one of the things that I should have recognized in myself when I was playing of like, sometimes there is a benefit to just putting the game down and, and just walking away from it and reapproaching it with a clear head. So I'm hoping that today we will have better success and uh, we will go from there. So last time... We played Oath and Felgana. Just as a quick recap, we were going through Valestine Castle, and we did clear out some of the bosses. We got rid of that uh, weird dog thing. We put together all of the keys for the organ. We found the secret passageway into this, basically the secret passageway into like almost this water canal type thing. It's really not great to call it a water canal, but basically what it was. And so we get through there, and that led us to the clock tower, and we made our way up the clock tower pretty fast. Oh, and then we did find the stone shoes when we were doing warm-ups in the very beginning. Speaking of warm-ups, I had an epiphany on something today, and we're going to give that a hypothesis, uh, give that hypothesis a try in just a moment. But yeah, we get to the very top of the clock tower where Chester is threatening Count Maguire, and we interfere, and then we have this fight with Chester, and... Um, that's where we spent the last hour of stream, uh, just getting killed by Chester over and over again. <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't remember Chester being all that hard. So my suspicion is, um, the factors I kind of alluded to earlier, I think they just kind of conspired to form this like perfect storm of, uh, endless death hilarity. At some point I might go through and do edit out all of the deaths into a nice montage and set it to the tune of blind guardians welcome to dying i think that would actually be really 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 funny so but anyway let's uh let's kind of get started that was the recap really we didn't do a whole lot other than die over and over again so let's let's get this party started let's go back to oath of Felgana and let's give my uh my hypothesis a try first and as i said i do have a new controller now so one of the things I'm going to be trying to do with this warm-up is getting used to the, because the controller itself is pretty fluid and it feels good. 
my main issue with it, the buttons are swapped. So I have to get used to the buttons literally being in different places now. I'm sure that will result in me pressing the wrong button uh, uh, a lot. <laughs> That's okay. Let's cruise in here. Awesome music time. So far, so good. Yeah, let's go to Redmont. So it occurred to me, I was looking for the fourth, the fourth herb. These, the berm leaves. Then it occurred to me, when we talked to the kid with the pickards the first time, it dawned on me, we may have given him a burn leaf already. So I'm looking for the fourth one, but it's really the first one I'm missing and I may have already given it to him. So we're gonna talk to him. I didn't want to do that when I was um, kind of fiddling around with this just to see um, how the controller worked. And yeah, the controller, this new controller is, is much more fluid, but I already know I'm gonna have to get used to these buttons. Hopefully I've done a good enough job. Okay, well, I don't see this yet. Where is this kid? There's you. Hey, you, there aren't many monsters right now, are there? Wish I could just hide out until this all goes away. But if too much of it went away, like the town, I'd be dead just the same. And then I'd never get to enjoy a meal again. Where is this kid? Is he in the inn, maybe? Maybe this is you? Now we gotta track this kid down. Um, yeah, we're not gonna let those undead freaks wreck Pogon any more than they already have. If we get attacked again, I'll take them all down myself if I have to, or die trying. I don't think so, but I like your moxie. Yes, give you the good burn leaves. Really? Let's see. Yay! Thanks, Mr. Rattle. I think I have plenty now. There we go. I got my dad achievement. So we've saved all of Hugo's pickards. All right, cool. That hypothesis panned out. You're awesome, Mr. Addle. Thanks to you, they're all gonna get better. That's awesome. Now, what do I get for this? Oh yeah. Around here, when somebody helps you, you give them a thank you gift. It's the Felgana way. So, um, here's my gift to you. So all that time. Oh, that's actually a pretty awesome gift. So all that time running around the Elber Mountains and I had the fourth one already. I do believe you saved my pickards, mister. Thanks so much for me and them. So not a game-breaking item, but still we'll take the extra hit points. Three more hit points. We will definitely take that. It makes our battle with Chester all the more... It's going to make the battle with Chester all the more easy. So I just got to get used to how these buttons work. Safe area. Well, we kill these things one hit now. Okay, good. That seems to work out just fine. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Well, I'm a little worried that I only have one wind gem. That makes me worry that I missed a wind gem somewhere. But I'm... Not at this point going to go through Valestine Castle and try and figure out where I may have missed it. Although if I did miss it, well, no, we got one in the clock tower. So, I mean, we may not have missed it. So I'm not going to worry excessively about that. Let's head up to Valestine Castle. Let's go to the keep. And let's try to kill Chester. Hopefully this time with a lot less difficulty. Actually, one thing I may do. Let's try and charge up our boost meter here. Because we have to charge that up by fighting these guys. Let's see. Oh, well. No. But so far, this also is working out. So far, so good. It's also a lot easier to activate the dash on this controller. A lot easier. I may not even have to do the automated one. I may still do that for the Chester fight, just to not have to worry about it at all. That guy, perfect. All right, so far so good. Two more shots and then our boost meter will be full. We're not really, oh, well, you didn't stun you. <laughs> there it is. 
That's what we were looking for. Wow. Hit the wrong button there. <laughs> I suspect I will be doing that a decent amount, but not as much as I much not as much as I worried about. And typically when I'm hitting the wrong button, um, I'm hitting the slash instead of the jump. Which, if you're gonna hit the wrong button, that's the wrong button order to hit in. So fingers crossed, here we go. And I'm gonna let this whole thing play since it's the first time we've encountered this. You're, you're loyal to me. How can you be from Genos Island? I, I, I know, I know what I've done, okay? You don't need to do this. I love how whiny he sounds. Please, just hear me out. I only wanted to use the demon's power to make Velgana into a strong and powerful nation. I was just going to ask the people of the island for their assistance. I never gave any orders to exterminate them, I swear. It was a mistake. I never intended for things to turn out the way they did. It's the God's honest truth. I swear it. Please, believe me. It's not my fault. <laughs> How pathetic. Even now, you still seek to worm your way out of all responsibility for what you've done? I don't imagine the men... Women and children you sacrificed are of the same mind on this. All of this. Every last bit of it was caused by your own foolish ambition and greed. You will pay for your crimes against my people. First in blood. And then I've no doubt your immortal soul will follow. I actually interrupted it the first couple of times. I didn't realize he keeps going. <laughs> I've told you before, you are not to interfere. Oh, but I'm going to. You might be pathetic, but not happening, buddy. This is my affair. It does not concern you. Although that double sword look is really fucking badass. If you insist on getting in my way, I'll cut you down, just as I did Dogi. All right. Oh, Take I that. forgot Cut. to. Take that! Take that! Here we go! Take that! Gotcha! Take that! Here we go! Okay, good start go. so far. Take that. Gotcha. Of course, I talk shit. Take that. Gotcha. Take that. Here we go. <laughs> Got me a little bit. Take that. Gotcha. Here Oops, we go. I jumped. A little bit there, but Take I still that. managed to get him. Gotcha. Take that. Here we go. Snap. Take that. Take that. Here we go. That is how you're supposed to do that, by the way. Take that. Gotcha. Oh, going into. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Take that. Hit the wrong way. Here we go. Take that. Stupid to try to attack him there. Here we go. Ooh. Take that. Oops. Here we go. Take that. Here we go. 
just get a couple of licks in. There we go. Wow, I didn't realize he did that little damage to me. Now granted, granted we we gained a level, right? But one level, if I hadn't, it's amazing what happens when you just do it right. <laughs> it's amazing what happens when you just do it right. Um, if you just do it right, he's not that fucking hard, right? Oh my God. But now, even if I hadn't gotten that level, I, we would have beaten him anyway. Um, I, okay, well, let's continue. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot believe we spent an hour getting kicked, killed by this guy last stream for that. But yeah, now you see why I'm like, this really should be that hard. <laughs> but I'll be damned if I'm going to back down now. You know, and that's actually funny when he says, you know, you've gotten a lot better. That could go for last stream and this too. It's like, it's so fucking fitting. Damn it. Hey, 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 get back here. I'm not done with you yet, Chester. Actually, is there anything over here? It didn't occur to me. Okay, there's nothing over there. I had to check real quick. Damn, it's fast. All right, now we're at the top of this whole thing. Oh, please. Nowhere left to run, McGuire. I beg you, just, just, just spare my life. <laughs> Pathetic worm. To think that slime like you orchestrated such inhuman atrocities against my people. But no matter. It's almost time for the final curtain. You're going to die like the disgusting pig you are. You, just stay right where you are and watch the story unfold. It'll all be over soon. Stop this, Chester! Oh, fuck. Please, you have to stop this. Which begs the question, how did she get up the clock tower? That was a dangerous as fuck ascent. How are you here? How are you still alive? I know what I have to do, Elena. Our parents were murdered. Our home was burned to the ground. You may not remember any of it, but I'll never forget. I do remember. I remember our father's voice piercing through the flames, telling everyone to run while he stayed and fought. I... I remember the smile on our mother's face as she died, knowing we were safe. Elena? You? I remember everything now. It's all just as you said it was. Those years before we came to Redmont, the events of that horrible day, everything. I wish you wouldn't have. Well, Chester, whose fault is that? You'd have been better off forgetting it all. But there's no need to worry. I don't intend to involve you in this. This is my struggle, not yours. I would never stain another's hands with blood. Least of all, yours. Chester? I'm so sorry. You hurt so much all this time, but you kept it all bottled inside to spare my feelings. I never knew. I just never knew. But Chester, this, this is all for nothing. I don't think it's ever been possible to appease the souls of our people. What? They... they're not here anymore. After all the horrible things they've been through, I think what they really want, what they really want is just to rest in peace. I know our father would want us to be happy. Together. He wouldn't want us to take revenge. Not like this. Not at all, even. 
I'll never believe that vengeance would make him happy. And that's all I want, Chester. I want him to be happy. And our mother. And you and I, too. I want us all to be happy. You may be stern, self-deprecating, and stubborn as anything. But you're the most dependable, kind, and thoughtful brother I could have ever asked for. You were there for me when our father couldn't be. I love you, Chester. So, please. Oh, and they actually animated her crying. Don't do this. Don't force this on yourself. I... What was that? Chester, you were playing with powers you don't understand, and now you have the gall to ask, what was that? No. What the hell have you done? <clears throat> I, I don't know! And he doesn't. I never knew that much about the power of the statues to begin with. The construction of the, the clock tower, the massacre on Genis Island. I was just doing as I was told. Told? Told by whom? <laughs> that would be me. Bishop Nicholas? <laughs> yep. Count McGuire and Sir Stoddart. You've both done splendidly. Everything is proceeding according to plan. That chime you heard? It signals that the power of the statues has been conferred to the one true god! W what Bishop, what are you talking about? I thought you were helping me exact my revenge. <laughs> no, but Chester, your bloodlust led you to be... Very easily manipulated. Well, of course, since we were in collusion, I explained to you the secret of the clock tower, and you placed the statues in the appropriate spots, just as I instructed. Now, their power has been drained and infused into the spirit vein that runs beneath this land. The four streams shall meet deep below the rocks of Genos Island. We're there to reunite as one. And awaken Galbalad! There it is. One, another one of my, like, favorite themes. The dark mist that's flooded the castle is merely a byproduct of this divine flow of energy. Still, I'd say you achieved your original intention quite admirably. Wouldn't you agree? Ooh. Ooh, wait. Wasn't Galbalad destroyed a long time ago? I find it highly amusing that a descendant of Genos should be so naive about the nature of Galvalan. Destroyed? Preposterous! An ancient being like that? He was simply drained of his power, cut to pieces, and forced into a wretched sleep. But that all ends now. This world will once again be under the watchful eye of a great and mighty god. Bishop. You're a man with the cloth. How can you say such blasphemous things? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cast off those outmoded beliefs long ago. I, Nicholas Garland, seek a true god with true <laughs> power. Not some mythical deity invented to scare children. I must say, Chester, my plan would never have succeeded so spectacularly. Were it not for your petty vengeance, I extend to you my deepest gratitude. <laughs> Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal, right? But in all honesty, this is a master stroke. You. You bastard! Damn it! He shielded. I guess I'm going to have to use this sword! I know that blade. 
here to die, you filthy heretic! Chester! We knew Dulorn was going to make an appearance. You don't have the power to properly wield that sword, you fool! So, now it's your turn to try in vain, is it? Very well, Adol Kristen. Perhaps you can offer me a worthy challenge. Let's find out, shall we? Let's see what you can do. That is a big fucking boss. Okay, well that does damage, but it... Okay, he killed me pretty quickly. <laughs> but the fact that I only have one hit point tells me... That's it? In here I thought you were be to be the next Genos. At least that one was scripted. That one doesn't count. You're coming with me, Chester. There's still one duty you must fulfill. Your people sealed God away, and the children must suffer for the sins of their fathers. Wait, please! If you need a descendant of Genos, then take me, not my brother. That is fucking brave. <laughs> Oh, how touching. Such love between brother and sister. Very well. Bring her, Delarn. Adol, thank you for everything. When you came to rescue me, I was so happy, so moved. Please, make sure Chester pulls through. Hmm. Well then, gentlemen. I bid you adieu. I hope you're looking forward to God's revival as much as I am! So Bishop Nicholas was the puppet master behind this whole ordeal. And playing through this, I couldn't remember if Nicholas was a bad guy or not, but I remember suspecting the first playthrough, but I'm like, I can't remember if that were, was true or not. So now I could finally get into some of like what was in my head of that. I was like, I vaguely remember suspecting it, but I don't remember if he was like the you know, the bad guy in disguise or not. And it turns out, yeah, he, he is. He was he was the dragon uh, keeping a lot of this action of the plot in motion. I, I just can't believe it's true. Oh, but he it is. He was always such a devoted proponent of God's teachings. But the facts are the facts. And this is no time to wallow in disillusionment. Not only has Eleanor been taken, but that earthquake's brought us new monsters, the likes of which we've never seen. Galbaland's resurrection is indeed nigh. The warning signs are all here. Redmond cannot survive much more of this. Dear Lord, hear my prayer. Let's not bother God just yet. Man's time is far from over. Bearheart? What in the world are you doing here? It's been a long time, Mayor. This seems also really good, too. I spoke with McGuire at the inn. He filled me in on the situation, more or less. Thought I might lend my strength to the town's defenses. Ha, uh, yeah. That would be most appreciated. With you here, we'll be able to stand our ground for as long as it takes. 
outside of our character, Bearheart, is like the local total badass. I think the town's okay now. Is there anything you need for the job? <laughs> Just for every able-bodied man to join the fray. And Father Pierre, I'd like for you to gather the women and children and make sure they're safe in the church. Understood. I'll get right on it. Now then, Adol, if you're to set off for Genos Island, there's that dock north of the town entrance, along the road to the castle. Wait, are you... You and Dogi came here on a small boat, correct? The island's not far offshore. You can see it from the dock and should be able to reach it easily. Now, wait just one second. <laughs> Elena may have been kidnapped, but you can't seriously be thinking of asking Adol to... Mayor, this young man has been guided down the path of Genos himself. Yeah, he gave me the double jump. Ultimately, it is his choice whether or not to go. But you know as well as I do which option he'll take. We mustn't hold him back. All we can do is give him our support. Time is precious. Edgar's got nothing to say about that. He knows he's right. I'll start bolstering the town's defenses. Oh, and Adol, Chester's in the room next door. He awoke shortly after I arrived here. I believe he has something he'd like to say to you. Before you go, you may wish to pay him a visit. Guitar working overtime on this track. Remember, you're facing evil here, the true evil. Can't say if it's a devil or a dark god, but Galbalan is not a normal foe. And no, he's not. <laughs> As I've said before, I've never beaten him. Given the gravity of this situation, I could never ask you to do this. You could still back out if you wish, but I'm hoping you'll go on your own volition. Elena's practically my own flesh and blood daughter. I don't mean to pressure you at all, but if you can, please save her. You... I must confess, I, I've made a terrible mistake. I involved innocent people in my quest for vengeance. I played right into the bishop's schemes. And as a result, I helped bring about the resurrection of Galbalab. I'm... I'm not worthy to carry this sword. Please, take it. And thus we get the brave sword. It's been handed down through generations upon generations of Genesis descendants. With it, you should be able to face the bishop on even footing. <sighs> Please, save my sister. Save Elena. Chester lapsed into a deep sleep. Yeah. Although it's only an extra 10 because we maxed out the battle saver, but we will still take the brave sword. So yeah, we'll definitely be able to upgrade that. See what else we got. Let's talk to everybody. I don't remember if anybody gives us anything else. Okay, everybody else is at the fucking church. So let's just go up there. Ah, Edel, thank you for so much for rescuing me from that dungeon. Unfortunately, I got separated from Elena during our escape. If I'd just been paying a little more attention, she'd be standing here with us right now. I'm so sorry. Nah, it's all right, dude. It's like some beautiful dream. I never once imagined that Bob would come back to me alive. If it is a dream, I hope I never wake up. He told me you're the one that broke him out of the dungeon. Thank you at all, Kristen. Thank you so very, very much. In these troubled times, when all the news is bad, a happy event like this isn't just rare, it's a miracle. I was going to use my pickaxe to help defend the town, but Dewey stopped me. He said it disturbed him. <laughs> I don't care what he thinks. If the monsters get anywhere near this church, I have no intention of holding back. 
Even if I'm destined to die here, I'm sure as hell not going down without a fight. Hey, it's Mr. Adol. You know what? There are lots of, lots of monsters out there. Yeah, I know. I've heard. But I'm not scared of them. Not one bit. Hey, you should be. Want to know why? It's because I got you and my daddy and all the other strong men in town looking out for me. Okay, Anya, that's adorable. Fuck. How, how do I poo-poo how that, right? The monsters don't stand a chance. I hope not, kid. It almost feels like we've been herded here. Rounded up like animals marked for slaughter. If push comes to shove, though, I will fight back. I'm fully prepared to take up arms and battle for home and family. I'm no warrior, but it's the only real choice I have. The alternative is to lie down and accept my fate, and I will not. I keep thinking of all the times I meant to ask Chester for sword trading. How strangely ironic that would have been. Brother Pierre has seemed so much stronger now than before. He's really grown into his position. I'm still nervous, of course, but I know Mr. Gardner and the miners will do their best to keep us all safe. As long as we trust in them to fight for us out there and Father Pierre to fight for us in here, I'm sure we'll be okay. What's a gobble hand? All the grown-ups keep talking about it, and if it's a food, it sounds pretty gross. Maybe it's a kind of monster. It has the right sort of name for that. Oh, googly and evil sounding. If it is a monster, you're going to beat it, right, mister? I'm going to try, kid. I'm going to try. No matter how many times the monsters outside get cut down, they just keep coming right back up again. Rumor has it, though, there's an item in Felgana which could purify the undead, allowing them to rest in peace. If only the rumors were true and that item were in my hands this very moment, I can't tell you how happy I'd be. I, I vaguely remember what he's talking about, actually. We're going to need that. I haven't seen Sister Nell since this morning. Though her absence is quite understandable, I can only imagine her shock at the bishop's actions. She's always had so much respect for him. Yeah. Total shocker there. We'll get into that later. I must pers persevere. Even if she's not here in body, I'll keep her spirit alive amongst the townsfolk until she returns. For anybody paying attention, I think you already have your own ideas of what that might be about. So let's go to the inn, because the one at the oh. Chester got beat up all black and blue and bumpy, and he's stronger than any of us. So how exactly are we supposed to fight something to wipe the floor with him? Now that I'm saying I won't fight, I'd rather fight than be eaten. I mean, I'd prefer to do the eating myself. <laughs> it's always eating with Paul. But I don't plan on eating monsters, unless it turns out they're really delicious or something. Oh my god, delicious a dungeon tie-in? Hey, Andre. I came to help defend the town at Fran's behest, but I swear she was actually trying to kill me. The townsfolk thought I was a monster, like all the other soldiers. They had to be totally surrounded. If that guy hadn't stopped them when he did, I'd have been in for a world of hurt. I can't believe Bob's actually alive. It's like a miracle. All the survivors of the castle arrived just a short while ago. Imagine my surprise to see McGuire and his family among them. I figured people would be at his throat, but i look at him. He's beating himself worse than we ever could. Well, that's the sign of somebody who might actually not be a shithead if he's on him if he's on his own case more than everybody else's. At any rate, it's good to see Bob again after all this time, but for now I need to concentrate on the town's defenses. That sword. Chester gave it to you, did he? Good, good. You look ready for the trials ahead. May fortune smile upon you in the battlefield, Adol Kristen. Hard to believe Galblan is actually real. I'd heard about it from my grandmother when I was a kid, but I always figured it was just a fairy tale. Hey, Ghosty, what's going on? Yeah, a little slice of this goes a long way. <laughs> so welcome. We are... Did we beat it? Did we... So we're still working on that deep fry, but... um, But yeah, started things off, and I beat Chester in the first try. I actually mopped the floor with him. I completely kicked his ass. So I think there were a couple of things in play. Um, I think I just needed to take a step away from it and just take a rest and come back refreshed. But I also think getting a new controller that didn't have a delayed input may have had something to do with some of those struggles last time. So yeah, we had no problem with Chester whatsoever. Once I upload it to YouTube, if you missed it, feel free. Because yeah, uh, I, I, I didn't realize how much I kicked his ass. He didn't even get us down half halfway. I mean, it was a destruction. It was destruction. Uh, <laughs> I mopped the floor with him. It was awesome. Um, so yeah, definitely encourage you to, to catch, uh, catch it again if you, uh, if you have a chance, if you have the chance. Uh, but yeah, no, we're, we're doing well. We're about to go into the last area and we'll see how we do. Uh, I'm still getting used to the new controller because the buttons are flipped, but so far, so far so good. So we're just talking to townsfolk, getting ready for the, 
the last battle. I decided to stick around and help defend this place since I'm quite enjoying the local brew and all. The townsfolk set up a whole command structure. The team I'm fighting with is led by a guy named Bearheart. I swear that name sounds so familiar to me, but I just can't figure out where I've heard it before. Eh, whatever, it'll come to me, I'm sure. Yep, I'll be watching them. <laughs> nice, I appreciate it, Ghosty. It's good to have a nice repository for it. <laughs> I ended up naming the last one, Welcome to Dying after the Blind Guardian song. I do so want to do a remix of like a montage of all those deaths. I really do think I died over a hundred times last stream. It was, it was, it was fucking brutal. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know, at the end of it, it was just like, if I wasn't so tired, I may have even kept going with it, but I didn't realize how long I was actually trying for. I would have guessed 20 minutes, not a full hour. That's crazy. I made arrangements to stay here in the inn for a while. My lord, my lady, and the young masters will stay here as well. Perhaps now they can finally catch their breath. When I was in the castle, I simply never knew it, but the people of Renmon are truly a kind and generous sort. I feel blessed to live in this country. All right, we're looking for Maguire. I've never seen Father so depressed before. I suppose it's because monsters have invaded our home. That's enough to get anyone down. Yeah, no kidding. But there is one bright side to all this. It forces mother, father, sister, and I to stay together as a family. <laughs> we're going back to the castle. I simply will not sleep in these filthy accommodations. Okay, Alice. I actually saw three mice over there in short, just a short while ago. Three of them! I can't put up with such vermin! Why should I have to? I always figured Count McGuire would be a really scary person. I thought he'd have a mean old face with lots of scars and burns or something, but he looks totally normal. He's done so many cruel things to us, I just never expected him to look human, you know? But when I look into his eyes, I almost feel sorry for him. Let's see now, what have I got in the way of comfort food recipes? You're looking for the Count and Countess. They're in one of the rooms on the second floor. The Count mustn't be allowed to get away with the things he's done. The Countess, on the other hand, has always been pleasant and courteous. I don't blame her in the slightest. She's taken half the burden upon herself, however. A noble gesture, certainly. But it's sad to see. I do want to talk to the Count. There he is. Let's talk to the Countess. Mr. Adol, you have our deepest gratitude for what you've done. Though your actions... Or through your actions, my husband has been given an opportunity to atone for his sins. And I assure you, he will. As will I. I swear we will never forget our debt to you. Oh, this is simply dreadful. I've lost, we've lost everything. The soldiers, the castle. There's nothing left, nothing at all. Okay, well, thought maybe somebody would give me something, but no, no. But it's still nice to talk to everybody, get a good sense of what's going on. All right, uh, let's go in here and let's upgrade the sword we just got. Actually, let's take a look. Buy items. Welcome. Okay, we can't afford that. Don't can't be afford a stranger. Anything. Actually, let's talk to you. I haven't talked to you in a while. The men have all banded together to defend the town, and we're charged with equipping them for the task, of course. But demand has been outweighing supply. For the last few days, Adonis has been spending all his time digging through his old metalsmithing literature. Can't imagine what he's looking for. Mm. Supposedly, there's a way of working on Ravel without damaging it or diluting its energy. Perfect quality smithing. If only I knew the secret. I'm confident I could pull it off and make you the shield of your dreams. Okay. Thing is, there are two big obstacles standing in my way. Let me guess, you need a shit ton of Ravel ore. First off, I need more Ravel ore than the miners bring back in a month. And that's a month when the quarry's open. <laughs> Plus, like I said, when you pound Ravel, you damage it. It's a soft mineral by nature, so there ain't no way around it. I learned the craft from my grandfather, though, and he learned it from the masters on Genos Island. Well, convenient that I'm heading to Genos Island. And from all the stories he used to tell, I bet the miracle workers over there knew how to do it. What do you got for me? Well, at least temper this. One? Oh my god, it's gonna cost me 700. Well, fuck Good it. to go. We're doing it. Come again. All right. Let's go. Now it's been a while, so let's save. Oh. 
We have new monsters. Ow. That's enough of that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the extra healing. That's the, the key gray mine. Well, we knew this was happening. We knew the monsters were going to get stronger, but at least this way they give us better stuff. I think this is the way to Alcana Ruin. You're not, you're not doing it. You're not doing me like that, buddy. This is Alcano Ruins, isn't it? Yep, that's Alcano Ruins. You don't need to go there. healed mostly. How are you guys doing? Whoops. You buzz off. Let's time that one. Not the big deal. Uh, is there any other reason to go to Palestine Castle at this point? Well, let's go to Genos Island and at least get started there. Yo, you're late. Hey, you doing, buddy? Well, don't give me that look. I'm not hurt that bad. And this is no time to be lying around in bed. Oh, so he wasn't hitting the arm. He was hitting the upper, upper torso, it looks like. Elena's been snatched away, right? I heard about it back in town. Adol filled Dogie in on all the details. Yep, that's pretty much what I figured. And I guess you were planning on going to the island all by your lonesome, right? Oh, the new performance and graphics update for Fallout 4 is not bad, huh? I have that installed on Steam, but I have my Steam set so that um, it doesn't update unless I actually run it. So, uh... <laughs> And because I always run it from the script extender, it doesn't technically count as Steam, so it never updates. I'm waiting for some of the bugs to get worked out before I, and so a lot of my mods to get updated before I actually install that update and then update my mods accordingly. I'm doing well. Uh, I am doing very well, especially since we kicked the shit out of Chester. <laughs> uh, but I'm also doing pretty well. Um, Man, you need to learn to speak up sometimes. Just who do you think you're dealing with here? <laughs> First off, the waters are choppy today. Unless you're used to it like I am, you'd never even make it to the island. So, I'm going with you, and that's that. Best make sure you got everything you need before we set off, though. I get the feeling that what we're about to face won't go down easy with the usual weapons and armor. Ready to ship off to Genos Island? Yep. All right. Let's do Let's it. go save Elena. It's not a one-way trip. We can come back. That I remember. I don't remember how. I don't know if we can use the boat or if we have to use a fast travel point, but we can come back. But yeah, I've been good. I uh, got my reevaluation for physical therapy, so I get to do that for another six weeks, but it continues to do well. My neck is, you know, it rotates pretty smoothly. It's getting looser and looser. It is what it is. So, oh yeah, this theme. So, this is where Chester and Eleanor were born, huh? It's quiet, too quiet, and I don't like it one bit. Let's just get going before something horrible happens. <laughs> yeah, you're in no fighting condition, bro. Oh, crying out loud. At all. I'm sorry. Won't be able to 
to help you save Elena. Don't worry about me. You go save her, and I'll... I'll... Oh, down I go. <laughs> uh, he down fell I go. unconscious from his wounds. <laughs> Geno Silent. I love... Love this track. I don't remember if it plays the whole way down or not. Oh. I knew you'd come. Okay. Pause time. At the castle, it was made perfectly clear that you have no hope of defeating us. <laughs> and yet here you are. Be it gallant or foolish, you risk it all to save Elena. I wonder who else we know that has white hair. But I cannot let you pass. My life or yours. The battle ends for one of us. Now. Actually, you don't see her hair here, so that didn't even matter. <laughs> I thought we would see it and be like, ah, but no, they did a good job concealing that. But I did remember that Nell is Delorn. That's the window. Fly, fly, slice, die. Oops, jump too high there. But I remember, I remember which one was the real one. Fly, spin, fly, disperse. Okay, so far so good. Fly, slice, fly, disperse. Yeah. Okay, get in the hang of this again. <laughs> Mate. He's gonna probably not gonna win this here. It's gonna be close. Whoops. Fuck. Totally fucked up there. Yep. I I fucked it up at the end. But alright, we got the pattern down, so we shouldn't get hit while I'm figuring it out this time. So I feel pretty good about this. All oh, right, I forgot that bullshit too. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck the timing on that. Let's try not to fuck that up, Sarah. Okay. Don't get greedy there. Kick there, shit. Fucker. Damn, that was just a shit fucking. Okay, when that happens, I gotta jump to the center. Right. That's the idea, though. If I could just do it. Uh, Ah, uh, I'm probably still not gonna pull this off, but boy, we're gonna try. Oh, damn, man. Okay. 
You rest in peace. <laughs> you little shit. All right, I gotta remember it likes to start off with uh, with wind magic. So let's. Okay. Spin. Smice. Be nice if uh, I automatically had the run on there too. You know, I saved. I might just go back. I might just load so that I can um, turn on dash. Ow. I thought I got that. Missed the timing on it. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, don't do that. Whoops. Hit the wrong button there. A little bit of bad luck there to still hit the fire. All right. Damn, and still got hit by two of them. Oof. But that's about... You can see that's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, I'm out of power. That's why. Shiznit. All right, so you can't abuse that. Oh, man. Ah, wow. Okay. Let's, let's return to the title so I don't have to do that every time. Yes. And let's go to the option. Always dash, so I don't have to turn that on. And let's set the earth magic on. Okay. Let's save. Okay. And we don't do that each time. I think we're appropriately leveled. Just uh, getting used to it. And this, this I haven't done in 10 years. Uh, so really rusty on this, obviously, but I think we've already sort of figured it out. I just have to figure I out where I have to be, come. where um, where they start throwing it so I don't get hit by all those things. Yeah, At yeah, yeah, no, fuck shit. And yet <laughs> all right, Delorean, fight. Ready for but the I real can. fight now. My life. Spin. Fly. Still got hit by that. Ah. I thought maybe if I jumped over on the other side, that would do it, but that doesn't. Oh, man. <laughs> and I didn't even get to hit her. Oh, that sucked so bad. That I could have jumped. Damn. Do I double jump? Maybe I have to double jump over that shit. Yeah, that's what I have to do. I have to double jump over it. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's what it is. I got to double jump. As long as I double jump, that's okay. There we go. All right. I don't know if we'll do it in this particular run, but now we've kind of figured it out. Okay, that sucks. Fucking heat seeking bullshit. Oh my god, that sucks so much. That is so fucking cheap. Oh my god, that is beyond cheap. 
All right, we got her. <laughs> I can't believe they pull laser fucking. Adol, you've gotten really <laughs> strong. That's fucking right. <laughs> Does she bleed blue? Yeah, she bleeds blue. Once, he saved my life. He saved my soul. His words, the sight of him, was all I ever had to live for. But then he went to the Ilburn's ruins, and he came back changed. Even so, I still had faith in him. And then he and I became of one body. <laughs> Twelve years ago, we attacked the people of this island. Maybe this is punishment for my sins. For... for my blind devotion. Thank you, Adol, for saving my soul. Please help her save uh, Elna. Yeah, I'm saving. <laughs> I am definitely saving, for sure. Okay. okay. Now we can go back in here and undo the always dash. Still pretty easy to run and dash, but I didn't want to be worrying about that during a boss fight. Yeah, so needless to say, doing pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I had a pretty busy day at work, but nothing, nothing we couldn't handle. There we are. are still a little stiff on this controller but they'll they're we'll, <laughs> we'll break it all in come back upgrades yeah, this place is all sorts of fucked up Man, thank goodness for the wind magic crawlies flying. Fucking flying man, monsters. I hate flying enemies in this game so much. They're so hard to hit. That was pretty straightforward, right? There was no other way to go in that whole thing. And I didn't see any other way to go. All right. I think we're just going to sit here and rejuvenate some health, but boy, are we getting XP. Thank goodness for that cloak. I am going to try to finish this today, Deep Fry. I am going to try. We are now in the last area. I just don't remember how much there is, but boy, wouldn't it be badass if we can? But yeah, I don't remember how big of an area it is. So there's that, and what the fuck is that? Well, it's looking at me, whatever it is. Okay, let's deal with these birds first. You rejuvenate that. Yeah. 
Didn't want to do that. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the button. Whoops. That's good. Yeah, I think I don't want to be anywhere near that thing. But I don't remember why. <laughs> Yeah, that's one down. Yeah, I'm thinking that was a wise decision. Okay. So obviously we need to look past this fucking thing. Of course, you don't take any damage in the spikes. Whatever. Okay. Now we gotta be careful. Okay, so that is obviously not how we go up there. Okay. Right, that is not the button I need to be hitting anymore. Oh, right. Try that again. God. Okay, that's why we don't want to be anywhere near that thing. Oh, thank you. I was trying to double jump, but I guess they were interrupting me. I'd really rather not die. Thanks. Hopefully I'm safe up here and I can um, heal up a little bit. If I get too hurt, though, I could always... As an emergency, use the wing and teleport topside. So yeah, those skulls are fucking scary. That's why I was like, I vaguely remember needing to do a fireball on those, and now I remember why. Shit. And it still managed to hit me. Fuck. Okay. We'll do this instead. Oh, fuck you, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We were gonna want that. Okay. Now we sit still and we heal. Because <laughs> boy, was that close. God, can you imagine if we didn't have that healing cape? Holy fuck. And I don't know what's in that red chest, but I know we're gonna want it. Okay. Find out. What's in this? Ah, we got our uh, another wind gem. The question is, is that the second wind gem or is it the third? Yeah. Fucker. Oh my God. Right, we just avoided that one. some more ravel or heal and then we get to deal with these assholes we'll probably level up once we get to the bottom here 
And then they'll do less damage to us. It's bullshit that they don't take any damage from that whatsoever. We're now level we're now level 46 doing all right ah we're deeper ah okay now we're back in the main area on some of the different levels so very much boy did you that time though Ah, if we wait till they dart and attack. That's what I was going for. <laughs> Still getting used to this. Uh... Controller here. Right. That's the button now. Because the boost button and the magic button are now switched. So a lot of times I will probably mix that up. I mean. The attack button and the jump button are also mixed, but I've had a lot more. I've at least had some amount of practice switching those up. Like, I hit it and I'm like, why isn't it firing magic? Am I out? I'm like, no, you're hitting the wrong button again, Seraph. Oh, look at that. More bullshit. Here, buddy. Now, if I hit the boost button, it's going to activate. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. I think if I drop, I'm just going to die. Let's find out. Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay, no! <laughs> Genos Island, Village Ruins. <laughs> okay. So we're safe, because I'm not losing that XP. Oh boy. All right, so if I do that again, don't fight those things. Got it. Don't try to fight them. Just get the hell out of there. <laughs> you know what we could you know what we can do? Since we did this anyway. Let's upgrade the sword. Since I messed up and we have to back out anyway. Let's do more damage. We like sword upgrades. Yeah, Geno Silent. Geno Silent does not fuck around. What do you got for me? This the one. Good to go. And now our swords at max. Hello. Now we do 263 versus. I've done all I can do here. Come oh right. Again. Yeah, 249 versus 263. Uh, we're we're doing much better. Yeah, I knew we could get back. So it is fast travel. We can't take the boat back, but we can fast travel back. Yeah. Back in we go. So yeah, let's see, Deep Fry. Let's see if I can beat it today. I don't know what the odds of that are, but I'm going to try.
Yeah, it's easier to fight these things uphill. So, of course, what do I do there? Fight them downhill. Like a moron. All right, so yeah, that other area. Saves me the trouble of standing still. Alright, before we get into that. Healed. Get anything. Oh, good. One got in the way. There we go. Come here, guys. Come here, assholes. getting hit by that thing again if I can help it I let go too soon thought I had the timing down Of that was just not worth it. Oh my god, it chases you! <laughs> okay, next time we will have to fight that. I can't believe it chases you! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Right. But the idea here is try and get back to where we were. And the clock tower, I think the better. This might be better to use. These guys might be better for the win. I'm not getting involved in that again. Thank you. If I can interrupt it so it doesn't even get to attack it, that's better. Man, this place is huge. Okay. Nope, good, perfect. That works. No, you're not driving me over. I assume if we fall down here, we're in that same spot. Although I actually kind of wonder if I should fall down that spot just to see what's there. Oh, well. This is the spot to drop, huh? Oh, God, okay. Well. Oh. What the fuck is that? 
There's like some invisible thing over there. Great. Oh. Right. Gotta be using the right button here. Look at that. And now it's visible, isn't it? Or is it just the same? Go, we hit it. Oh, well, we picked up the Ravel armor. That works. Yeah, right. That didn't do shit. It's going to come back, isn't it? Yep, it comes back. Great. That's just awesome. Okay. Uh, well, we've got the Ravel armor, though. That was... Uh, right. I got it used to the button being different. Okay. Well, so that's uh, awesome. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do over here, though. Oh, they can chase us. Okay, time to run. Because we know these guys will absolutely fuck us up. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's awesome. Right. These guys don't stay dead. That's cute. Nope. Let's go. Let's just get the hell out of there. Oh, all these fucking assholes just come back. And they don't stay dead. Fuck. Oh, cute. No. No point even trying to fight these guys. Fuck. No, 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 no. Damn it. Damn it. Couldn't get there in time. Village ruins. Yep, we gotta go. Shit, well, because we'll die. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I don't know what that was, but you know that was good. We need it, whatever it is. Fuck! All right, so that was obviously not the best strategy. Man, these guys are fast. Maybe what I'll try and do is just get in a little farther, but I think that trust had the thing that the guy was, that one guy was talking about as far as, um, letting them stay dead. Because otherwise we're just going to keep killing these guys over and over again. I'd rather not spend all night fighting all these things all the time because it's time consuming. But, on the plus side, Seraph's gonna get really good at platforming all this shit. Whatever. Oh, damn, you managed to hit me. Oh, God, that hit me. Okay. You guys are gonna come up here and chase me, fine. That's the strategy to hit that thing and just stay constantly behind it. Because if you're behind it, it can't hit you with that fuck you laser of it, of that it has. Okay, and oh. No. Cool, okay. That works. I think we try this again. I do want to try to get to that treasure chest. Be nice if we could figure out a way where I'm not kiting 
literally all of those motherfuckers to me. But I think once I go into the next area, they don't follow. This should be okay. <sighs> Heal. Thank you. We're gonna need this. Alright. Oh shit. It's gonna stay dead for a while. Just give me the money. Okay, we got more of these assholes over here. At least this way they don't follow us. I think that's the way to do this. Good. There we go, got it. That's all that matters. Got it. Now when we kill those fuckers, they stay dead. And I had a feeling that's what that was. Okay. Now we're cooking with fucking gas. I don't think we have to equip it, though. You know what? I think we might have to equip it, actually. Yeah, we do have to equip it. Fuck. Every... Yeah, the accessory has to be equipped. It's not an item in your inventory, but that is okay. We will equip the fucking silver chimes. And then when we need to, we'll just switch back to the cape if we need to heal. This works. All right. Now, back in we go. <laughs> I don't remember if they gave us uh, XP for that or not, but I do remember that being important because when I played this game back in 2012, I earned an achievement for, apparently, if you kill enough of those things without the silver bell, it gives you an achievement for that. <laughs> Something like, Ultimate futility or- oh, I didn't even see this guy. Me though. Getting my health back. Yeah. We've wasted- uh. Oh, because- Tons of XP to be had in that. And you already hit me anyway, so I may as well at least kill them. Have them drop health item. We're just gonna run through this. That's late. This thing we're going to kill, though, is we know it will fucking... Oops, damn it. These birds are really annoying. We'll take the money, however. Ow. I'm trying to avoid the fucking birds. This is the only annoying part. 
switching back and forth every time you want to heal. Okay, now I'm going to continue on to see how far I can get. anything else past them. Ouch. Oh, cute. You. That's an area off that way. There might be something good over there. Let's find out. That guy first. Oh, there's a treasure chest of some sort of that way. Let's go find it. Oh, shit. Thought I, <laughs> I thought I landed behind it. I did not land behind it. It is a lot easier when you get it to commit to a direction and then you just jump behind it and do it. It's, oh my God, that's a lot of Ravelor. Okay. Well, I could upgrade the armor. I wasn't sure if I made that jump. Didn't want to take a chance at it. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything else down there, but at this point I can get down there pretty easily. I think we got what I needed to get down there. Yeah, the problem was this guy showed up at just the right time to give that guy an assist. Whatever. Oh, really? You're going to drop all the gold down there? Whatever. Come here, asshole. Next. Oh, fuck. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. Well, I got what I asked for. <laughs> he obliged me. Suppose I can't be bad. Yeah. And this shrine is huge. It, it seems to work. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. It was a shortcut down here. Now we've Oh, we, we got all the way down here. Uh, okay. Well, shit, we got all the way down here. Uh, was there anything else to do? Okay, so this is the way... Wait, so this is the way back up. Wait, is this the way back up? Was there another way to go? Yeah, that 
that was a problem there. Ow! Right, Seraph. Make that mistake again. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, right? Well, we'll take the XP boost here. We don't need to fight those assholes this time. And we can actually kill these guys. Pretty fucking sweet. Oops. Give me a Ravlor. Hell yeah. Well, let's go back here and see if we Oops. Go back here and get hit in the face with a fuck you laser. Apparently. <laughs> I mean, at least we're gaining XP while I try and figure out where the hell I'm going. Am I maxed out on Ravalor? Shit. Fine. But since we know an easy way to get down here now, we'll just do that. But we'll go back and we'll uh, boost the armor. We may as well. I didn't realize Ravalor maxed out at 999. Oops. So if I keep going, that's a waste. What do you got for me? This the one? Good to go. Yep. All right. That's Come better. Again. Sucks to have to go back and then kind of go through that, but at this point now it's easy to get down there. Uh, sorry. Gino Island, we go. And we'll save. I don't know if we're beating this today because, boy, is it going to be... We have to find... We have to get down to Galbalan. And then we got to beat Galbalan. And I've never beaten Galbalan. Never. Oh, well, uh, we'll, we'll just get through this a little more expeditiously here. Wow, these guys only do two damage to me now. Thanks to the armor upgrade. They're probably not worth the time. That is funny that they'll fucking chase you. Oh, 
Only because they're... Again, only because they'll knock you off and all that. Let's see. I don't think there's... I don't think there's anything else up here, right? I mean, we went over that way, and it's the way down. So yeah, this is really the only... This is it. I mean, we could look that way. See if there's anything... Oh, yeah, there was, wasn't it? <laughs> Whoops. Holy shit, 25 Ravalora and that one alone. Okay. Come here, asshole. hammer uh it's probably what we need to build our shield ah fucking things i hate those i wonder what the lotus hammer is for but we didn't go this way, at least, so we can now proceed this way. Let's find out what's that. Dear God, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, come here. That's not what I wanted to hit, but since we're already here, may as well use it on this shithead. Since we hit the boost anyway, <laughs> Uber Crip time. All right, so that's how we came in, right? Or is that the way we need to go out? That stairwell down there. I think that's the way we came in. In. Money, 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 money. A lot of back and forth, man. Oh. I don't like what I see in the background there at all. Three of those fucking flower bastards. That sucks. I think for the most part, I timed that so that it didn't hit me. Come here, buddy. That's right. Yeah, I was hoping to stun you, but that didn't work. He stunned one of them. And we're on our way to getting another fucking level. <laughs> Man, I love it when we can stun him. Took the wrong angle. Okay, so this is obviously going to suck a lot. One of the few times I actually activated the boost on purpose. <laughs> what the fuck kind of bullshit is here? 
Okay, so it's going to be easy to fall down here. You can see that already. We could see that coming. Of course. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Oh my god. What the ever living hell. Whatever. Oh my god. Ow! Okay, I didn't like that at all. <laughs> let's, uh, let's heal, and let's go down there and try and kill that thing, so that if we fall off, I don't have to worry about that so much. <laughs> God damn. My suspicion is, though, once, once it gets fairly late, I don't think we're going to be done. I think we're just going to get as far as we can and then just call it a night when we get there. This area is fairly big. Okay. Okay. Well, that worked. Oh, that sounds like a raid. This is a good point for me to put this aside. Pay attention, everybody. Greetings, raiders. Freak bot, welcome. Let's, uh, oh, and of course we switched uh, focus so that the music stopped. But greetings, raiders. How are you? Let's, uh, let's do some shout outs for fellow streamers here. Since I didn't do this earlier. Oh, never mind. Ghosty's already got it. Well, I got you covered, Ghosty. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, thank you kindly. Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, so far, we're doing really well with Old Phil Ghana. Uh, we played, uh, we started, we uh, went up to Chester, beat him on the first try, and uh, we've been doing pretty well ever since. So if Darkstar is around, I do want to take this moment to uh, give him a gigantic thank you. His controller has been much easier to work with. <laughs> I don't know if all my struggles from Sunday were the controller, but I can say a controller that works helps a lot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so far, so good. And uh, so yeah, we faced Dulorn again and Dulorn the sequel. Yep, that's a uh, good question. I don't think so. It's, um... nope. It's the Gula Kit. King Kong 2 Pro Controller. I was trying to open the box earlier to put all of the documentation back in there. Yeah, it's 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 blatantly an Xbox controller type uh, type of layout. But the button layout is the su is a Super Nintendo layout. The controller I had gotten used to had more of the Xbox button layout. So the all the buttons are reversed. So I'm still getting used to the buttons actually being in a completely different place than they were. But what I think will happen is now when I start playing Final Fantasy VII, when I go to naturally hit the attack button, I'm going to actually attack now because that was the worst thing about Final Fantasy VII. I'm like, do I just remap the button? Um, but with this controller, I think it's it's going to make that game much easier. So yeah, so far. Uh, yeah, so we go you know, quick recap of uh, of Oath of Fogana for what we, what we started with so far in the stream. We beat... Uh, we beat Chester at the very top of Alistine Castle. Uh, we saw a brief uh, brief scene. Uh, Chester was about to kill Count Maguire until um, Count uh, Bishop Nicholas showed up and was basically like, ha, 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 ha. and Chester's like, you dick, and tried to kill M Nicholas, got curb stomped. Uh, Chester's, you know, knocked out for the count. El Elena shows up, and uh, for some reason, he wanted Chester to finish uh, off this ritual. And Ellen is like, no, 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 no. If you need a descendant of Genos, take me. Don't, don't take my brother. 
And he's like, that works for me, mwahaha, and steals uh, and kidnaps Elena. And everybody else is just like, what the fuck? Uh, anyway, Chester, it's like, oh, I'm not worthy of this sword. Here, Adol, you take it. And that's how we get the best sword in the game. And at that point, it's like, well, uh, Galbland's going to get resurrected at uh, Genus Island now that all the power of the statues got drained. Because at that point, Chester's like, oh, that's what I've been doing. He didn't actually even know what he was doing. The bishop was just like, yeah, you want to get revenge on Captain McGuire? This is how you do it. Um, and then he was like, oh, I resurrected Galbland. I'm such an asshole and I'm so stupid. And everybody's like, yes, Chester, you are. But at the same time, it it's it's interesting how the game has the depth and the complexity to be like, yeah, I mean, when you're blinded by vengeance, you can be had. And that is exactly what happened with Chester. And so now he's laid up in Redmond wounded. And we, uh, Dogie actually was like, gosh, yeah, I'm, I'm not missing the end. And you're going to need somebody with sailing skills to get to Genos Island. So Dogie actually helped us get to Genos Island. And at that point, he's like, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just going to take a nap. Because at that point, his wounds had, I guess, reopened. And he's like, ah, I, I can't fight. Uh, and he kind of passes out from the pain. And so we, uh, we left Dogie by the docks, but he's safe there. Dulorn shows up. And uh, Dulorn kills us once or twice, but at that point we figured out how to how to deal with Dulorn, uh, and we kill her. And it turns out she's Sister Nell, to the surprise of really no one. But weirdly enough, when we kill her, she thanks us for killing her. And at that point, now we're just kind of going through the shrine to try to uh, stop Nicholas uh, Garland from resurrecting Galbland. And that's that's where we're at, as we're going through the uh, the dark shrine here. And there's a lot of powerful enemies, but we did get uh, the treasure that allows us to actually kill the skeleton things that are down here and everything else. So how, did New, how is New Vegas? Uh, everything continue to go well with that as I get back into the swing of things here. Let's go back into in-game. Let's, let's go in here. Let's see, what else are we doing? Uh, we've got, yep, we've got that re-equipped. Okay. Hello, Kilio, and my co-host is here. She is sleeping on my foot. And I'm gonna try not to get smacked by this thing, but I think we're gonna get smacked by this thing. And there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Nope, yep, and that sucked. Okay, so we're gonna take a couple of tries with this. Fuck. Yeah, this, this sucks a lot. This time we made that jump, at least. Nope, I'm hitting it too late. Oh, and then we well, I don't know where we I don't know where we go after that, actually. Let's see what the story is with this. Yeah, I hit the wrong button again. Or I I hit the wrong timing on it. Alright, we're getting there. Ow! Oh god, we went all the way down. Yep. Well, that sucked. On the plus side, we have awesome music to listen to at this part. Damn. These fucking things. They don't do all that much damage. But it sucks to get knocked over. That. <laughs> Hello, Flora Kitty. <laughs> ah, damn it. Thought I could do it with just a single jump there, but no, that didn't work either. Oof. Ow. Well, at least that one's not so bad. Nope. Oh, okay. Got managed to get there. There we go. Got it that time. Now, what did we get? Okay. We got the last topaz. Punches add to the rhythm. <laughs> ah, the sidetracking has begun. Yes. As is tradition for any Fallout game. You're gonna hit the wrong button. That's the wrong button to hit. Ow. 
Ow. I got my second companion. Oh, nice. Damn it. As you can tell, the uh, platforming here is very precise. there, but not the end of the world, as any good person should. <laughs> I didn't get anything else, right? I just have... Yep. All right, so we've maxed out our Earth bracelet, and uh, I guess hopefully we'll be able to max out the others. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully I didn't miss any of them. So good with all this shit. Uh, I think we're all right. Actually, let's let's not fuck around. We'll switch to the cape again. So that other item that we keep switching back and forth allows us to permanently kill a lot of the things down here. Otherwise, they just stay dead only for like 10 seconds and then come back. So that's super annoying. But now that we have it, we just keep switching back every time we want to just stick around and heal for a minute. Oh, lovely. Three of those uh, gigantic, weird insect monster things. That's super awesome. reasonably significant. Let's heal up. Oof. <laughs> so yeah, needless to say, Darkstar, thank you for the controller recommendation. This thing is awesome. <laughs> Very comfortable. Oh, okay. Good to know it can do that. Okay, I'm glad that's not hitting me. Revelor doesn't max out at $9.99. Okay, I didn't have to spend it. That's fine, I guess.
take that. Also heal on it for a minute. Oof. We took way too much damage on that. A little exchange. In a second, I'm going to go downstairs and refill my cup of water here. But yeah, so Deep Fried asked earlier, are we going to try and beat this game today? It depends on our progress, but it is theoretically possible that we beat this game. Now, I don't know how... I don't know how likely that is. But boy, am I going to try. I'm going to try. <laughs> sink. Man, I'm glad I've got the 21-9 resolution for that. Otherwise, I don't know how I would do this. Oh, yeah, I it. This is brutal. Okay, I got to activate it at the very top, I guess. Got him. Hey, okay, that's what we got here, but... Am I missing something here? Or... Well, I guess we didn't get over here. Oh, great. I guess we have to fall down this. Yeah, or we could go out this way. All right, well, I don't see any other alternative. Let's go down. Oh, oh, that's how we get here. Okay, okay, that's not terrible. Oh, dear God. All right, let's see what happened. Following? Really rather not fight all three. Come here, buddy. Oh, shit, you fire fireballs. Oh, he's good. Thank you. That's what I was kind of expecting. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and that third one is a total beast. Oh, the okay, that one threw five. Oh, 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 this sucks. Okay, time to go. Damn, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I didn't hit the damn escape key in time. Shit. All right. How bad are we? Oof. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was, we just lost a decent amount of progress there. Shit. I did not expect that many of them down there, obviously. Fuck. All right, time to do this again. Actually, that's a good time for me to just take a quick pause. I will be right back. I'm just going to load up on some more water and then we'll do this again. This time without the oops.
death certainly hurts our chances of beating the game tonight. <laughs> oh, man, that that one, that one hurt. I wish I could have hit the damn. See, that's a case where I wish the. Um, I wonder if there's a way I could program the key for that rather than having to reach to my keyboard to hit the escape key to get access to the menu. Is that the fact that I have to like basically let go of my controller in order to access the inventory? Yeah, man, if I could have just gotten the inventory a split second sooner. Oh, all right. The, the good news is a lot of that time was spent figuring stuff out. So now that we know we should be able to get through this a little bit faster. I don't have to worry about that guy. Whoops. Oh, come on, guys. Don't do this shit to me. Just let me go. Mm. You guys are pissing me off. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you. So now we got to get the last topaz. Um, that's the problem. We have to get... Man. That's a lot. And where was that last topaz? Urgh. Uh, yeah, we may as well just go down. We can kill these guys now. Oh, we need to go down this way. All right, so we reacquired the Lotus Hammer. Ugh. I hate these things. Just let me go. It's, um... Flying rodents. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of flying rodents. They're they're mostly just like irritating. Let's heal. <sighs> Come on, heal up. Thank you. Okay. Man, I think it still hit you. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm actually using the boost on purpose in some of those spots just so I could do a lot more damage to them faster. Mm. I can live without my neck being stiff tonight. That's unfortunate. Mm. Wait, why is that? No, no. Ah! How did that switch? Shit, no, get out of there. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, we're having a bit of bad luck here. Watch it, man. You already had two for pre replay. I know, right? We were just about to level two. Actually, I probably lost a level in that whole exchange. Because it had been a while since I saved. I was trying to get down to the bottom. And for the most part, whenever I've gotten into trouble, I've been able to, you know, get to the wing fast enough. <laughs> Oh, all right. I got to look out for those books. That's what's kind of nicking me in the end. Got that. 
Perfect. Ugh. I hate these fucking things. Oh, good. Thank you. There, but did not. Hmm. I just gotta make sure that book doesn't hit me. There we go. Oh, these fucking bastards. All right. That was better. Now we got to do this platforming again, which I am not thrilled with, but so it goes. Oh, I kind of thought you would fall and die, but whatever. Almost there were five of these fucking things down there. Oh. Okay. You. Yeah, I did lose a level. Because I had I I definitely leveled up after that, but whatever. That'd be good. is definitely worth getting, so... What was the timing on that again, I wonder? That's what it was. Cool. Okay, not too bad. All right, we recovered the topaz we just lost. Now let's try doing this again. Not the end of the world. Okay, good deal. Okay, let's try and do this without dying this time. That last book, war. In this room. Okay. Nope, not what I wanted to do.
Yeah, next time I just gotta run. Do not fight all those things. That was really stupid. was too close too close for comfort man I don't know what I would do without this cape hell this entire level wouldn't be possible without the cape because these monsters just don't aren't dropping enough uh, healing items so I guess by this point there I guess they figured out oh, if you didn't get the cape it sucks to be you Jesus Christ. This thing's ridiculous. Oh my god. No! No! Damn it! Come on! That sucks that it's launch the fireballs. I was hoping it would jump and then I could get behind it and it just didn't do that. It didn't do what I expected it to do. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Come on. Those things are awful, man. And we just got down to where we'd just gotten to. I officially hate those things. You know what? For now, just dash. I just want to get down there. I don't want to be constantly telling it to dash. Just get down there. God damn it, we gotta get that level back again too. It's amazing how I could go to full health and nothing uh, with that thing. Those fireballs do so much damage. Ugh. I really do hate these flying rodents. They are really annoying. Ah, oh, fuck you, dude. No, no, stop. Thank you. Right, I don't have to call it dash anymore. We told it to always dash. It's convenient. Cool. Fortunately, that shit's just annoying and it doesn't actually do a lot of damage to us. I mean, we're probably not. Um, I mean, even without that setback, probably not. It sucks that, um, it sucks that those things keep uh, giving us grief, but you know, it is what it is, man. It's kind of a bummer, but it is still technically possible depending on how late I stay up. And at this point, if I start having better luck with things, Stop it. Uh. But we will see. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Come here, asshole. Come on. Last book. That last book usually does get me pretty good. <sighs> no. 
No book. Book? Yes. Oof. But it would be nice if we could finish tonight. Um, it is technically possible, but by God, it's 1030 already. Not, not looking good, is it? It sucks that that one got me. God, and I tried fighting five of them at once. That was really stupid. I just needed to run past them. Um, fuck, man. <laughs> but I don't think this is going to be any kind of permanent setback. We've been doing pretty good for the most part. I mean, it's the last area. Of course, it's going to be a little challenging. No, book. You're not getting me this time, book. Too bad you can't hack the book. At least I don't think you can. Man, we got so much Ravel Ore, too. Um, hope I didn't miss any now. I don't think so. I don't think there are any, like, crazy... They're assholes. You. These things can do a shit ton of damage to me. My God. Just because there are three of them. Yeah, they can. Nope. Let's heal, and then we'll go back in and finish them off. Starting to use the boost a little more. If all, I mean, these enemies actually have kind of required the boost. The rest of the game really didn't require that. Not for that. Back to this shit. that book would actually come down the way it did. See, that's what I thought it would do. Oops. Nope. But yeah, the other one, I, I wasn't expecting it to throw fireballs and it just, it just fireballed me into a fucking oblivion. Hmm. How about you actually switch to the wind magic? On the plus side, we've gotten really good at this. Not a perfect world. Jesus, I almost wonder if I should go back and just save this. So I don't lose my progress again. But my god, if I would just quit dying, I could get to another one.
There's our level back. Oof. Well, so yes, you can, but then you have to descend all the way. To so that's what I was trying to do what, before those things killed me. The problem is to get to the inventory, I have to let go of the controller and hit the escape button on my keyboard. There's no actual controller button to access your inventory. When you go to your inventory, you can go to the wing and you could use this to fast travel outside. Well, <laughs> if you don't hit it fast enough, you're dead. So uh, that's kind of what happened to me. Uh, I tried fast traveling outside. I just, um, at this point, I'm not in risk of dying, so I don't want to, um, I'm not really super inclined to, um, come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Get away from that plant. Come on. There you go. And... Ah, I didn't think it would get me from there. <laughs> now all that shit's gonna come down. Oops, let's not fast travel. Put the cape back on, we'll heal. But yeah, each time I realized I was in, I was in trouble, I just didn't hit the key fast enough. That's all. We're getting down here pretty quick. Damn it. Come here. Come here. Wow, I managed to hit me. I'm surprised. I was kind of surprised about that. <laughs> Come here, asshole. Yeah, you cannot hit those books with the sword. This time played that a little smarter. Ow! Stupid fucking spike. Oh. Unfortunately, the spikes don't actually do that much damage to you, but they just smack you around and it fucking hurts. Now I'm safe. Is he 
heal and then we will proceed back up so at least we didn't get killed by that other by that cheesy one again it's just when we get down and deal with the five down there I gotta not think I could fight them uh, you just gotta run past them that was my mistake thinking I could fight them deal with that one maybe I should just deal with that one now you know what yeah come here come here buddy perfect thank you never mind I didn't have to jump down and lose my progress More Ravel or okay. We know we don't have to fall. Oh, yeah, I do have to fall down that. Okay, we got one down here. We do have one down here. Come on, buddy. Ah. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit. Shit, shit. Damn it. Yeah, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Just take. We just took too much damage. Not getting. I'm, I wasn't gonna get past those. I think they were gonna lock me into that. But this time we're not losing our progress. We're not losing that level. Let's just go down back down. Now we don't have to open those treasure chests at least. And once we get past those assholes. There's probably a, another save point, like, I'm guessing right past it. And, and the save points are the fast travel points. It just sucks we have to go through this whole thing again. Ugh. But yeah, we'll be pretty good at this whole thing by the time we get down there by the time we get into trouble by the number of times we get into trouble and don't want to lose our actually you know what that's a good point before we get too far in there let's upgrade the uh, armor at least and let's see maybe maybe he knows what maybe that hammer is what this fucker is looking for I see that hammer for a sec. All right. Adol handed the Lotus Hammer to Adonis. Oh man, I can feel it. This baby's just packed with power. Where the hell did you find something like this? Genos Island? Huh. Guess there's some truth to the rumors about that place after all. Using this hammer's energy, I can easily temper Rabble Ore without damaging it. And you have no idea how big that is. I could probably make you a hell of a shield with it, if I had the materials. But that's just it. I'd need a lot of Ravel Ore. Well, that's coincidence. What a coincidence. I have a shit ton of Ravel Ore. Probably somewhere around a thousand rocks. Oh, we got that. We've got like nearly what? 2,000. You already have a thousand hunks of Ravel Ore? Seriously? Well, damn. Color me impressed. How'd you manage to get so much? And... Where were you keeping it? <laughs> Either way, I can get started right now, if you want. No time like the present, and I'm itching to try out that hammer. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm rearing to go. Let's make you the world's finest shield, shall we? And hopefully, but with the extra shield and any improvements to the shield and, and or armor, we'll take a little less it's damage done. from those assholes. I'm sorry it took so long. Here you go. Try it out. See what you think. There we go. Now we got the Ravel Shield. That'll help. So, what's the verdict? I'm not one to toot my own horn, but I think I did a damn good job with this piece. Might have even outdone myself. I'd probably even go so far as to say <laughs> it's the best piece of work I've not, ever produced. Not to toot Just my own horn. Just make sure you put it to good use, okay? 
Uh, I'm gonna try and kill Gablin with it, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to try. Okay. Yep. Cool. There we go. And now we look totally badass. What do you got for me? This the one? Good to go. Yep. All right. So now our sword and our sh armor is maxed out. Come again. Okay. Back to Geno Silent. Let's see if we can beat the game. I'm still thinking that's a, probably a big ask, but let's try. It'd be nice if we could at least get down to where Garland is. This is a big shrine. I love the music in this area. I know I've said that before, but it warrants repeating. <laughs> Probably gonna need that in a minute. Really don't feel like dealing with these little rodents shit right now. Done with that. At this point, they're really not much of a threat to me, but they're just fucking annoying. <laughs> they're just annoying. But at least we got better armor and shield out of that particular run, so it's not a not that bad of a loss to have to have gone back. Take that! Shit! Now since we've gone this far. Hey, buddy. I mean, if they're gonna ambush me, I may as well get all the XP for fighting them. get to him and interrupt that before it happened. I was wrong. Boom. All right. a good boost there. Fuck these things up. Where's the last one? Oh, did I kill it already? No, oh, I killed the last one already. That works for me.
Well, at the very least, we've gotten to the point where we're almost like Doom Guy. The only thing they fear is you. We're just laying waste to uh, Gavilan's army of fucking monsters. Really? You're able to hit me from up here? That's pretty crazy. Guess I'm gonna have to put an end to that. At least now we don't have to worry about getting all the treasure chests that are up here. Hoping you give me. Wow. Oh well. Teal up. Actually, we're about to get another level. At least. When I managed to hit the button to fast travel outside, kind of like what we did earlier, it's just those last two where we kind of... Those things managed to... You can be down there. in too long. That's okay. Still no health items, huh? That's okay. Boom. <clears throat> All right, this bullshit. We're back to this room. By that point, it was already uh, down far enough. It was not. Appreciate the level up, though. Oh my god, we've done. We had an 85 hit combo and all that. Normally I go after the stunned ones, but in that case it was like, well, if that one was stunned, I'll go after the ones not stunned. Where did undamage this? At least I killed it. I don't have to worry about that shit again. Thank you. 
Man, I wish more of them gave me health regenerating items. Ah. Oops. Yeah, that was stupid timing. But I'm kind of hoping. Oh, fucker. I didn't think that could hit me from over there, but here we are. Damn it. What I'm trying to do is get on top of it so it does that. Not terrible, just not great. Okay. Healing items, spells. So we just have the cape. Cape is really our uh, our only option here. And the cape only works. For <laughs> what I should have done the first time, just fuck those guys and run through them. But so, for example, right now I've got 315, 363. So if I go over to the inventory, that's one of the reasons why we swap back and forth a bunch. If I swap back to the spirit cape, you know, but the problem is with the spirit cape, the way it works is you have to stand still for it to work. So that's not great for that other room. And then we switch back to the silver chime so all the undead things we fight down here uh, stay dead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, ho, 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 here we go. Let's heal and please let there be a save point at the fucking bottom. Oh my God, please let there be a save point at the fucking bottom so we can at least upgrade the shield and not have to descend this entire thing. But the fact that this music is playing is good. Now we descend deeper. And in the Turbo Graphics version, this is a tower and you're going up. So it's a little different here. This is a good sign. Maybe we will beat the game tonight. Oh, yes. Fuck yeah. Thank you. God damn it. We were so close to this. All right. Yep. We got back to the point where I was in 2012. <laughs> the fucking dark shrine. Wow, and I made much better time, actually. It took me 14 or 15 hours when I played it this time. I guess I... I guess I grinded for like 40 minutes. I still couldn't beat it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're finally here. So let's... Uh, let's go back to the inventory. Let's go back to Redmond really quick. And let's upgrade the... Um, you were also two levels higher, yeah. But not much of a surprise. I mean, I had to figure out how the game worked. You know, at least this, I mean, granted, it's been 10 years, so I was really rusty on stuff, but a lot of times you saw it, I'd be like, how does this go? Oh, right. And, you know, it figured out pretty quick. What do you got for me? That does Just save Good to a go. lot of time. Okay. And now we're almost max level on all this shit. Come again. All right, let's see. Let's, uh, I'm still very early on, so I don't think it makes a lot of sense for me to go out and try to level up. Let's just see how we do. Only because it's late. And I don't think it's a great idea to be <laughs> grinding for like 45 minutes. But I remember this music, boy. All right. So yeah, I missed, I missed a fire gem and a wind gem somewhere. What can you do? 
sucks that I missed the fire gem because we're going to need the fire gem. But I don't know where I found it. I'd, I could always look offline. I've been expecting you at all. I suppose your presence here means that Sister Nell is no longer with us. <laughs> but I'm going to give it the good college try just to see if we can do it. How disappointing. I gave her one measly task to perform, but even that proved too much for her. Oh, well. I love how he goes with the whole, she had one job. <laughs> I've grown somewhat fond of her, and I suppose that was my undoing. It blinded me to her utter worthlessness. Really, asshole? Her faith was not strong enough. And in the end, only those who truly believe in the new god shall remain. But I am all he shall ever need. My body and soul I give to him in the ritual grounds at Ilburns. I feel a stirring. God awakens from the coming of the dawn. Humanity's pitiable, mewling existence will come to an end. And by God's true power, this world shall be remade into a paradise. Now, you shall bow down before his divine might. <laughs> now, I do suspect this guy will kill me at least a couple of times before I figure out what the fuck's going on. some amount of damage to him. Well, that hurt, so I should probably avoid that next time. Alright, not doing great yet. Uh, okay, I need to stop trying to get cute with that. should have all right what i need to do is turn on the uh dash of always dash because having to constantly tell it to dash Over is so annoying soon. how sad so let's let's do that one quick change yeah let's do that unfortunately we don't, i'm just gonna skip through that bullshit real quick uh but we'll save that configuration so we don't have to do it each time yeah it's that's gonna help. Yeah, 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 shut up. I've, I suppose. How? I'd grown her faith, but I. I feel I'm the coming. And it's, and I, now. like I said, in this part, like some of this I played through somewhat recently, but I didn't get this far on the uh, replay through. <laughs> so I really don't have much of a memory of this, but. Damn. Quit hitting me with that. Oh my god. You do a lot of damage with that shit. Ugh. Uh. Alright. I mean, that did a decent amount of damage. I don't think that's a great strategy. I'm trying to figure out what I should be doing here. Should I just be hitting him? But I feel like I did better the first time around. Let's see. What is his... What is his deal? Am I better off just going in and attacking him and then treating? Hmm. That seemed to work pretty well. Let's 
seems to be a good pattern. Oh, now I gotta get out of that. Okay. Yeah, when he starts doing that, I gotta get away from it. But yeah, when he does the laser, yeah, it looks like hit and run style seems to be the order of the day here. <laughs> Every time we break the shield, that seems he hates that. Nope, can I get out of there? Okay. Ah, ran right into that. Sucks when he kind of hits it dead on. Oh, yeah, I gotta look out for when it's gonna do that. Hmm. Oh. Damn. Wind attack, those fucking killer. Oh, shit. Likes to do this shit. Ugh. Ah, damn. Yeah, looks like it's over now. That's, oh, yeah, there it is. All right, so let's see. Over so soon. <laughs> I love when they talk shit. Uh, but it is three hours. We haven't even gotten to, to Galvalan, so I actually think this is a good stopping point. I mean, we got him down halfway. So I, I feel like we've got it, but at this point, I almost feel like kind of like quitting while I'm ahead. Um, sucks to not beat the game, but because again, I've never even beaten Galvaland. So one or two more goes. All right, why not? <laughs> I kind of want to also try to find the other gems. Oh, shit. Man, that was fast. So if I jump over that, I don't... Well, except I jumped too high that time. Oh. I jump, jump over that, that avoids that. Whoops. Jump right into it, that... Oh, sometimes he swipes high and sometimes he swipes low. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I, I boosted, so I didn't want to waste it. So now it's low. It's low. That's high. We just avoid it. Nice when he swipes uh, kind of high, because then we just avoid his bullshit.
Oops, jumped right into that one. Yep, didn't jump that time. All right, we're at least, we at least learned something off of that one. Still did damage on that. That was so cheap. by staying oh new form oh this is lovely this shit okay what is he doing all right that looks pretty easy to avoid it looks fairly easy to avoid Okay, so when he gets down to half, he does new shit. Oh, he does a lot of new shit. What the fuck is this shit? Wait, what's going on here? Oh shit, the button's stuck. The button's stuck. <laughs> oh no, the button is stuck. <laughs> the button's actually stuck. That's so lame. <laughs> Over so soon. <laughs> That's such bullshit. There it goes. It finally pops back up. Uh, I gotta work this controller in. We were doing really good until the controller, uh, the the X button stuck down. Oh yeah, it's stuck down again. Uh, oh no. This but this controller's brand new. This controller's brand new. Why is that controller? Why is that button sticking? Yeah, uh, okay, now that button, when I press it, it doesn't want to come up. Okay, you know what? That's a sign, but we had it. We had it, we had it. We, 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 we figured it out. Um, well, at least I have the box. I may as well return it. Um, Yeah, I mean, why am I going to play with a controller where the button on the first two days, it's already sticking? Um, unless anybody else has, has a, you know, let's, all right, so let's return to the, let's return to the title. Because I, I need the magic. I need to be able to boost out of certain things. Um, so that's, that's unfortunate. Um, so I don't know if maybe there's something I need to do to loosen it up. I don't know. Maybe I could put some WD-40 on that. That would be me with the Mega Man streams. A button wouldn't unstick. Yeah, that's, but I mean, brand new controller. And it's not like it was a cheap controller. It was, this thing was kind of pricey. So um, that's, that's kind of annoying. Uh, and it's still, yeah, it's still in there. Yeah, it's still in there. What the fuck, man? Okay, maybe I, maybe I won't recommend this, this, this controller. <laughs> I might still need to find a new controller. All right, well, I guess Seraph is going to Whole Foods to uh, return a controller and buy a new one tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> you know what, though? I'm totally okay with that. We figured out Garland. You know, when he's, when he's swiping le low, it telegraphs. You jump over it. You beat the shit out of him a little bit. Uh, that whole flying thing, that, that's fairly easy to avoid. I think we've got that. So I, I feel good about this anyway, even though we got a little, uh, a little sabotaged there. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I mean, maybe I'll maybe I will put some WD-40 in it just to see if that 
that unsticks it. But um, that's that's unfortunate. I actually like the button configuration of it too. Uh, it's also possible I just got a got a defective one. I could always order. I can always just order another of the same one. I wonder if they would. I wonder if they could do that. If they could just be like, "Hey, I want to return this, but I want the same one. Can you just send me a new one?" And see if maybe uh, maybe I just got a lemon for a controller. Um, is yeah, uh, the second day a button a button shouldn't be unsticking on uh, on a brand new controller. I don't feel like that's uh, that's normal. So anyway, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Let's see who's on. Who could we raid out to? I feel like that's a uh, oh <laughs> Kai's still on. Let's let's write out to Kai here. All right, so uh, I don't know when the yeah yeah we we got so close, but in a way I'm actually you know what this really isn't the end of the world because I felt pretty good about things for the most part um, up until the end there, and um, I don't even if we got to Galvalan I don't know if if I would have beaten Galvalan anyway. So this this isn't the end of the world. Um, all right. So channel update. I actually don't know when the next time I'm streaming is. So uh, if nothing else, we'll be back. If not for this, we'll be back for more Earthbound on Sunday night. And we'll go from there, because at this point, uh, if I'm replacing the controller, I don't really know what I'm doing. And at the very minimum, I could just plug in my cheapy Logitech controller. It's clunky and it's uncomfortable. And it kind of sucks, but uh, the buttons don't stick. <laughs> I can't believe the button. I can't believe the use magic button stuck. It's just it's such rotten luck. I can't I can't fucking believe that, man. But anyway, uh, thank you for coming out and enjoying the chaos with me. Um, for the most part, things went pretty well. And um, if things change, I will update you all accordingly. Uh, other than that, I hope everybody has a great rest of their week. And until next time, um, take it easy. Have a good one. Ciao. Sayonara. Adios. All of all of the words. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.